everybody! Welcome back. Sorry it's been a while. Uh, things have been a little bit busy over the past couple of months. Uh, but I wanted to share with you my Traveler's Notebook setup for 2019. Now, it's not that exciting. Not a whole lot has changed. But figure a little bit of an update. Um, and to say hi to you guys. So, hi! So, this is my black Traveler's Notebook regular size. This is from the Ace Hotel uh, Caravan event a couple years ago in New York City. Uh, which I... I typically like the brown notebooks, but I've kind of been feeling the black this year, so, you know, I go with it. Um, so, pretty typical, my regular stuff. I've got my stamp here, and some of you have asked before how I do that or where I got it. So, uh, it's actually two stamps. So, one of them is, is this one, which I had made custom, uh, which just has, it's this, the outer ring with the Lila Martin official. And then the inside L is just one of the classic-y letter stamps. Um, which you can get at places like Baumkuchen and probably a bunch of shops on Etsy as well. Um, so that's how I do that. That's how I make that. Um, and then let's take a look on the inside. So there is a new clip here that's not typically here, and that's holding my New Year's card. Uh, and I made this for myself this year. I typically don't make a card like this, but I was just feeling it this year. So every year, uh, my family picks um, from a deck of, like, medicine cards, um, an animal guide for the year. And my animal guide this year is the ant, which is all about patience and having faith that the universe will provide what you need when you need it. Uh, the word I chose for myself is present, as in being present. Um, I tend to be a warrior and a bit of a control person, <laughs> so, uh, you know, trying to be present in the moment more and not so much worrying about what's coming next. You know, still thinking about that because you have to plan and, and be ready for things, but trying to enjoy the moment more. You know, don't sacrifice the moment in favor of worrying about the future. So working on that. And then the tarot card that I chose for myself for this year is the Queen of Cups. And that's all about tapping into your subconscious and paying attention to the messages in your dreams. Um, and I tend to remember my dreams anyway. So it's, you know, they've been, they've been vivid over the past couple of months, um, which is interesting. But yeah, so all together, I think it's a, it's a very harmonious uh, New Year's mission <laughs> for me for sort of a self-care thing. So let's dive into how I build this. And for those of you who are new, welcome. Um, you're not gonna find any fat traveler's notebooks here. I'm all about a slim profile because it's easier to carry. Um, this is actually the fattest my notebook has been in quite some time because I've been carrying three notebooks instead of my usual two, but we'll get into why and then what they are. Um, so this is the four off green uh, folder that I've had for quite some time. You can see I'm kind of getting a line there. And it's got, you know, a, a laminated sheet of grid paper with some of the Traveler's Notebook official uh, sticky notes. Now I don't carry the entire sticky note little plastic bindery thing that they come in because it's too thick. So I, you know, did this thin laminate and then, uh, just put a couple of these on here. So if I need sticky notes, I've got them, which is nice. Haven't used them in a while though. Uh, and then on the back, I've just got some stencils from the Hobonichi shop, which I love. I tend to use mostly the speech bubbles in my calendar, but I do use some of the other ones as well. Um, so this is the Warfare Trilogy long-term notes. And so this is kind of the third notebook that I'm carrying, which is something I don't typically, but the reason I have this is that I've been working on the Warfare Trilogy for a couple of years now. And I haven't, I'm planning to self-publish all three of them, uh, but I haven't published anything yet because I'm not done writing the whole trilogy. And it's my first trilogy, I've never written one before, and before I publish anything, I really want to make sure that the continuity is right. That I'm not, you know, that somebody who has blue eyes in book one doesn't have green eyes in book three, or something like that. So, um, I want to finish writing all three of them before I publish anything. Now, that's, you know, it is what it is, but because I go through my regular writing notebooks, you know, I go through a notebook, an insert between, it takes me between one and three months to go through an insert, depending on how much writing I'm doing by hand. And typically I'll do more writing by hand if I'm trying to think myself out of a problem that I've caused or if I'm trying to find my way out of writer's block. I believe that writer's block is your brain's way of telling you something's wrong. You're deviating from the story that you were supposed to be telling. 
Uh, so a lot of times I will write longhand and just kind of do a stream of consciousness of, of asking myself questions. How did I get here? What's happening? And generally I can kind of find my way out of the woods that way. Uh, and the more of that that I have to do, the quicker I'll go through an insert because the faster I fill it up and the less of that I'm doing, the longer it will take. Um, but what this notebook allows me to do is to keep notes about certain things that I'll need to remember for all of the books. And so this has, I started this when I started book one and it's got some questions. It's got the calendar for the first book. It's got color, you know, uh, skin color, hair color, eye color notes, D and D characters, questions, um, kind of who people are, their last names, little bits about them, calendar for book two, stuff that was going on in book two, calendar for book three, no, that's calendar for book two. <laughs> I had to edit that several times. Um, places and creatures that are in the video game that's in book three, timelines for certain things, little bits of like just continuity stuff that I need to remember to, you know, keep it consistent. This is the calendar for book three, so that's two sided. Um, little bits of, you know, how I'm formatting notes about, you know, how I'm. Uh, doing certain things like how text messages appear and stuff like that so I don't have to go back through the manuscripts and so that I have this information oh here's the map of the video game in book three here's the uh, characters in book two that I had commissioned last year which I still totally love this is sort of the journey of book three and then this is another map of the video game but it's more socio-political like game politics, then uh, geography, and then some inspiration photos for what characters uh, look like in the game. Now, what this allows me to do is keep track of not just hair color, eye color, but like there's a mountain in book two and what's the, what's the name of the mountain and how do I make text appear? So this kind of keeps me honest when I'm writing on the go because I tend to write at work on my lunch break. Um, and so I can't check on my archived notebooks to see <laughs> what was what was the name of that mountain range again? Um, because I'm not home and then I kind of lose my steam and I lose the scene and, and that's no fun. So this notebook is kind of a catch all um, for that long term stuff that I need to remember so that I've got it on hand. Now in the back of the four off, uh, I have got doo -doo -doo -doo. Hang on, I just want to cover one thing up. Do, 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 do. Because as much as I love you guys, I don't want you showing up at my house. Okay. So I've got some stickers in here and mostly Ojisan stickers. That's primarily what I use in my monthly calendar. So lots of those. And then I've got um, this washi thing. Now this is like I, I, I showed you that laminated... Uh, sticky note thing from before. So I, I bought like the Amazon's choice, like the Amazon brand laminator. That thing is freaking great. So this is sort of a little washi library. It's very slim and compact as you can see. So it doesn't take up a ton of room. Um, and I made it long so that, you know, the tapes don't stack big when you wrap them because again, keeping things slim. So I just ran a, a sheet of the laminating stuff through the laminator without any paper in it. So it's nice and wiggly. Um, and then as things run out, I can just refill them with different tapes or the same tapes if I love them, uh, which is pretty cool because then I've got tape on the go and it's not bulky. So this I don't think is something that you can buy, but if you have a laminator or if you have a friend who has a laminator, it's super easy to make one of these. Um, so I did, I laminated the whole sheet and then I just used one of my flat uh, cutters to cut it out to, the, to a shape that would fit right in here. So that's that. And then um, I have these colored sticky notes, and these are Stalogy, I think. I got them from Jet Pens. And I will use these to mark in my notebook if there's something that I need to go back to, to remember, to work on, or if there's something that I want to add to here before I archive the shorter term notebook. Um, so that's what I use those for. And I don't color code anything. I just picked up the rainbows because they had the small notes, but I don't color code for that. Um, and the other thing I have in here is a postcard from Eunice Rowe from Bam Kuhn. And I keep it because I love her handwriting and I love her aesthetic and it makes me happy. You know, so whenever I need a little pick me up, I take this out, I give it a read and I am happy. 
Um, so that's nice. And I hope you guys all have something that you keep with you that makes you happy. Because um, that's what these notebooks are all about, I think, is making us happy. And playing with analog stuff. So that's kind of section one. The middle section is my shorter term writing notebook. This is number 34. So it's the 34th insert since I started using the Traveler's Notebook in, I don't know, summer of 2015. So almost four years now. Um, yeah. So I've got a really simple, clean aesthetic for the cover of this one. For those of you who have seen some of my other earlier notebooks, they were very... I had I went through like a huge collage phase. I you know, when I first started doing it, it was all bright like Heidi Swap journal cards, and you know I've kind of really scaled back into keeping things really simple, um, which I really like. It's it doesn't take as long to decorate, so it's kind of a lot quicker. Which decorating is 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 fun. So sometimes I like taking that long, but I just love the clean, simple, sort of smooth experience that you get from this. Plus, it goes really well with the screen. So. Um, this is an interesting insert because I covered it, so it's, it's, I made it, quote unquote, but it's kind of a hodgepodge, uh, because it's a craft cover, but the inside is actually, um, paper from a traveler's notebook, from a, an official traveler's notebook insert, and the reason for that is that I really like the traveler, I love Tomoe River paper. If you've been here, you know that's my song. Uh, that's my jam. I love Tomoe River paper. I love how it's thin. I love how it crinkles. I love how it takes just about any ink or watercolor wash without like disintegrating or bleeding or like it's amazing. So I love for that reason the zero, I think it's the 013 Traveler's Notebook insert, which is the lightweight paper. But the problem is that because the paper is lightweight, they pack it double. So it's still the same huge, thick insert as the as the regular ones. It's just got more sheets in it. So for me, what I'll do is they'll buy, you know, whenever I buy them, I'll take them, I'll open them up in the middle and I'll undo the staples and I'll take out several sheets. And then I'll kind of put those sheets aside so that the official Traveler's Notebook insert is then thinner. And then when I've got enough, sheets from the innards, I'll kind of put those together and rebind them in a cover of my own. So that's what this is. Um, and I've only got one note in here because I just started using this today. And I'll mark in this corner of the cover of every notebook when I started it and when I finished it. Um, so that's that. So I will be digging into that soon. And then section three, the last section, is my monthly calendar. Um, I'm using the monthly insert. I, I used the weeklies for years and I just found that it was too much space um, because I don't use it as a planner. It's really more of sort of a memory keeper, like a one thing that happened that day sort of thing. Um, and I like to decorate it, but it's minimal. You know, it's Odisan stickers and it's just kind of keeping memories, keeping track of stuff that I did. For my daily like to-do lists, I have a lot of the same to-dos every day. So I don't want to write them out every single day in a weekly insert and have just, you know, have the same list on every day. You know, it's stuff like feed the dogs, give them their vitamins, take my own vitamins, check the water level on the boiler because my house was built in the late 40s and the boiler is still original to the house. So we have a steam system for heat and hot water. Um, which is cool, but because it's so old, um, I have to, it's all manual. There's no automatic water refill. So I, every day in the cold weather, we have to go downstairs and, and check the sight glass to make sure that the water level is good so that the boiler has enough water to heat the house with the steam. Um, which I think is cool. I, I, I really like the analog, um, element of having to do that and going down there every day. It's a very KonMari thing when I sort of check the water and then I pat the boiler and I thank it for doing such a good job. Um, so, you know, maybe a little bit weird, but it gets us through. I like it. Um, but all of those to-dos are like things I have to do every day. So rather than writing them out, I use an app with a widget on my, on my phone so that I can just check the things off as I do them, which means that I need less space because all I'm doing in here really is memory keeping. Um, so this is the monthly insert. I don't love the orange, but it's the only color that it comes in. So it is what it is. I kind of covered it up, you know, with a little bit of a little more of a collage thing to kind of make it a little more neutral. 
pop of orange rather than like bleh, orange. Um, and that works for me. I like it. And so then it's just, you know, a matter of keeping, I just want to make sure I can show you this stuff. Hang on. Do, 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 do. Yeah, this is all fine. So for example, this is my December calendar. Uh, so this is kind of, this is kind of how I decorate things. Whatever. Um, so Oji-san will get little speech bubbles of things. Sometimes I use colors. A lot of times I prefer black ink. Um, we went to Florida at the beginning of December to the Wizarding World of Harry Potter, which was really fun. I got sick. I was sick all through the holidays. That was garbage. Um, started a game called Gris. I'm not sure if that's how you say it, but it's really beautiful. It's uh, out of a Spanish studio, I think, and it's just a, a gorgeous game. Really, really beautiful. Um, and there's no words in it. Like the game, through its design, the game shows you what you need to do without ever telling you anything. So it's really, I mean, it's really good design, top-notch art, like really absolutely beautiful. And for like 16 bucks, why would I not? Um, so that's, you know, what I'm using that for. And then um, we've got this 16 weeks here. So the other thing that I've got going on and the reason I haven't been making videos is because I found out in October that uh, we're expecting. We've got a little girl on the way in June. So things kind of, everything kind of fell by the wayside as I was dealing with, with you know, having a baby. This will be our first, so we've never had a kid before. This room is definitely going to be off limits. This is the least child-friendly room I have ever seen. <laughs> and I'm not, I'm not getting rid of my study because I'm not going to give up who I am just because I have a baby. So this room will just be off limits and she's going to have to deal with it. Um, but yeah, so, and for that reason, also, I think that the, having the aunt as my guide and, and having trust that the universe will provide what I need when I need it, I think that's going to be <laughs> a touchstone for me in, in a year that's probably going to bring a lot of, not probably, that is going to bring a lot of change. Um, so that is my primary notebook, my writing notebook. This is a working notebook. I'm not really a super decorator. Uh, I do decorate a little bit, but... Mostly this is a working book, you know, novelist's book with some memory keeping in the back. The only thing that I have added for 2019, and again, because we've got a baby coming, is this. And this is another traveler's notebook. It's one of, it's, I think it's the first one I ever owned. It's got the old Midori, like it doesn't even have the traveler's notebook branding on it. Uh, and in here I'm writing letters to our daughter. Um, you know, and, and so one day she can kind of look back and, and, know what I was going through and thinking and, and all that stuff. Uh, it's got her ultrasound pictures and I just write her notes and sometimes they're long letters and sometimes they're just really short, like, hey, look, this is what we did for your birth announcement. Isn't it cute? Um, so yeah, that's, I mean, I'm not going to open it up because it's really personal letters and I'm not comfortable sharing them, but that's what I'm doing in here. So I'm about halfway through the first insert and I plan to keep on writing to her, you know, as she grows up so that one day maybe on her 18th birthday, maybe on her 21st or whatever, you know, I can hand these over and say, hey, here you go. <laughs> and hopefully she doesn't think I'm a crack. But I mean, given the fact that she'll have been growing up with me doing this, I imagine that she, she'll see it coming by that point. Um, so that's that. That's my setup for 2019. That's what's going on in my world. Uh, I hope you guys are all doing well. And I, I promise I'm going to try to make videos more often. Um, I just have to get my button gear and, you know, plan video time for the same days that I have my makeup done so I can actually say hi to you guys for real. Um, but that's that. I hope you're all doing well. I hope you have a great day and I will see you again. Bye-bye. Oh, did you see that? See that hair? That was cool. Okay. Bye.